in mass one production in each of the Piscon, which is very professionally managed. We did a program on fine-tuning etiquette for all our students. They do origami workshops, double art origami or paper origami. They learn about different styling there. They also did leadership skills workshop, part of the professional development program. They also did programs on technology. And this program we organized with the European Union where the, the students had a workshop on European cuisine conducted by the chefs from Italy. So this European uh, cuisine workshop was conducted at the institute which was sponsored by the, uh, from, from the European Union. They also visited Welcome School Manipal as a part of their inter, inter, international, uh, sorry, uh, international competition and uh, they also won various prizes there. And also they visited ITM College and won some prizes in their uh, intercollegiate events. And this year we took them to Rajasthan as a part of the National Study Tour. Uh, Rajasthan being a very tourist friendly state, they also had an opportunity to visit two hotels. Uh, one is at Jaipur and one is at Udaipur. We also celebrated International Women's Day. And uh, we also had a program on breast awareness, uh, cancer awareness, where they wore pink to work on that day. And uh, we are a part of the member of Navi Mumbai Sports Association. And uh, we conducted various events such as table tennis, football, cricket, and different sports activities for a period of three days at the Navi Mumbai Sports Association. And we also celebrated Tourism Day and we also had inter-class competitions which all the first, second and third year participated. It was both academic and cultural and it was a good platform for us to even identify their uh, hidden talent. A lot of events were conducted for them. So they did collage, they did role plays, they did rangoli, a lot of things they did. And uh, we also were part of the farmers market which was organized through Ms. Karan Anand from Pune. So students worked in this farmers market as volunteers. And I would like to thank the HRAWI for <coughs> awarding two scholarships for Zenobia Kapadia and Zubir Kapadia uh, who were granted 30,000 each scholarship uh, as a part of academic support from HRAWI. And faculty were involved in writing their own blogs and many faculty have their own fan following now. Um, so a lot of people are in touch with these blogs. And we were also in the news for Ona Sehrozgar or various other programs that we launched like IHATA and uh, So we are also members of HRA, SCOL, Western India Culinary Association, HAT and Trainers Forum. So finally I would like to thank the Paul family, the members of the APJ Education Trust and APJ Sundra Park Hotels, members of our governing council, Mrs. Shireen Paul, Ms. Priya Paul, Mr. Vijay Diwan and of course I am there as a member. I would also like to thank and acknowledge the contribution of members of the local management committee. They are the external members for the University of Mumbai for local management committee, that is Dr. D.Y. Patel, Ms. Karuna Chawan, Mr. Santosh Sharma and Mr. Sorup Datta. The other members are all internal faculty members. They have also contributed a lot as a part of the local management committee members. Also the parents and invitees, media, our alumni, students and the Park Navi Mumbai team and the IIH team. And I would like to specially thank the Park Navi Mumbai team because they have always been a constant support with us because being an integrated setup, they have always been a support of health and uh, in terms of infrastructure or facilities. So special thanks to the Park <coughs> community for helping us to achieve whatever we could little achieve in this academic year. So thank you very much. Now invite Mrs. Paul 
Ms. Paul, and Mr. Bhuvan to kindly be escorted on the dais. In the words of Alan Alda, you have to leave the city of your comfort and go into the wilderness of your intuition. You can't get there by bus, only by hard work and risk. And by not quite knowing what you are doing, but what you will discover will be wonderful. What you will discover will be yourself. I invite Ms. Ashwarya Sate, student representative of the graduating batch to share with us her experiences of the journey with the AIH. One fine day, I receive an email from Chef Parker telling me that I have been chosen as the official speaker for this year's graduation ceremony. About rereading the mail for the tenth time, did I finally realize that yes, the mail was indeed for real. So I was to speak in front of the entire college and paint this euphoric utopian picture that AIH has been. So after pondering for a while, I still kept thinking as to why me? Well, there are only 32 other students in the batch, and come on, honestly, just by looking at me, it's pretty easy to see as to why me, right? <laughs> Jokes apart. It was an opportunity of a lifetime, and I feel extremely humbled by this kind gesture that my professors have bestowed upon me. So without making it too emotional, here's what we do. You close your eyes, take a nice therapeutic power nap, while I try to say something really motivating and inspirational, and then you wake up and give me a standing ovation. Good afternoon to everyone present here. Well, we made it. Three years ago, I was sure enough that this badge was far from graduating. I mean, look at us. On a serious note, it was pure hard work. We fought each day, each week, and some professional development programs as well, some which were better and finally arrived. Over these three years, we have been a part of many events, my first being the Hi-Fi Conference held at Renaissance Hotel in Pawai. What followed were field trips to places such as ABC Cheese Farm, Sula Vineyards, and United Breweries. We enjoyed our bus trip just as much as visiting these places a wonderful opportunity to bond with the class and teachers alike. A beautiful farewell came to us on the 22nd March 2014. Our theme dinner was a beautiful finishing touch to a scrapbook full of memories here at our alma mater. This saying that I believe sums up our class very well and it goes, good judgment comes from experience. Experiences come from bad judgment. Let me demonstrate this by giving you a couple of statistical examples of our class. Approximately 71% of a licensed male population has been involved in automobile crashes. 25% <laughs> students have been observed trespassing or driving through campus, through campus while riding on another student's vehicle. And finally, 100% of our class has been moved to different rows and benches for creating nuisance in class. <laughs> bad judgments, bad experiences, whatever they might have been, they have sure made us better at everything. We have been fortunate enough to do it in an environment that has cared about us, encouraged us, and
and given us ample chances to learn from our mistakes so that history doesn't repeat itself. And our future sets an example for those willing to follow our footsteps. Three years, a really long time, don't you think? If I had to pick a few special days, it would have to be our cultural day. A day when we all dressed in our best attire. We were lucky enough to catch some enthusiastic juniors who turned this day into a traditional day. And then there was sports day. As reigning football champions for two years, we sure made a niche for ourselves and finally passed it down to our dear juniors. The class of 2014 has always supported each other, standing for what we believe in. I think we can drop the cracks. To quote Ben Stiller's Night at the Museum, I would say, although we are small, our hearts are large. Our class may have been a small batch, but I feel we've had the largest influence in college. Next year, I don't know what our juniors are going to do without us. The college will be a lot different in the years to come. But then, there are definitely a few things that you will surely miss. Like the library and its lawfully bound silence keepers will be losing out on some serious entertainment. And of course, our dearest wander around with an O. Oh, Ma'am, you should never find a chance to not keep your desk in one piece. As this hour goes, so do we. Perhaps the smallest class so far. From a time here at AIH, today we stand proudly in front of you post our campus placements. I feel proud to stand on behalf of all my dear friends as we begin to face a new journey into our new hotels, our new homes to be. It excites me to know that I would be called economically independent. With fears and enthusiasm, I am ready myself to face this world. My class made me feel where I belong when I was positive, I didn't. You all taught me something that I will carry with me in life and that we can stick together as a class. We can accomplish any goals we put our hearts to. I want to wish you all all the luck in life. On behalf of myself and the class, I would like to thank our teachers and our parents for standing by us through thick and thin. And now, the moment I have waited for three years. Congratulations, class of 2014. nicely put up and the highlight of her speech what I like was she says we are passing on the legacy to the juniors what she meant to say was they lost the football match to the <laughs> <laughs> and a good summary of whatever you did three years we have with us Ms. Priya Paul she's the guest of honor today for the parents, I would like to introduce Ms. Paul. She joined the company after finishing her studies at the Penn State College, US. Worked under her father as marketing manager at the Park New Delhi at the age of 22. She succeeded her father as the chairperson of the hospitality division, the <coughs> APJ Sri Limited in 1990. Her contributions to industry and commerce, particularly in the field of hospitality industry, have been repeatedly recognized and she has received several awards and citations including the following. The Federation of Hotels and Restaurants Association of India conferred on her Young Entrepreneur of the Year 99-2000. She was nominated for the Economic Times Awards as the Business Person of the Year 2002-03 and Ms. Paul has been conferred the Padma Shri Award by Government of India on the eve of the Republic Day, January 2012. I request Ms. Paul to address the gathering. members, administration, 
um, the graduating students of the APJ Institute of Hospitality, parents, friends, and well wishes. My warmest welcome to each one of you for being here this, on this very special day. Uh, I would like to, of course, start by congratulating the class of 2014, um, all you wonderful 32, um, 32 of you. Um, I'm sure the faculty <coughs> and the team um, are very sad with this uh, kind of separation that's been commemorated today, but it's, uh, it's a separation, it's also a commencement of your new life. Um, and I think the faculty and uh, Mr. Govan and the team here have really uh, worked hard to make sure that you're well prepared to enter your professions and um, and will you know face whatever you have to do with uh, with great confidence and make us all very very proud. Um, it's it's a tough um, journey to get to this stage in three years, and as Eshwarya. Um, you know, just uh, spoke about it's the, you know, the good stuff and the bad stuff and sometimes you probably wonder, uh, you know, why am I doing this at all? Um, but it, as I said, this is just the beginning. Education is really a privilege and you're privileged to be in a, um, in a young and growing institution such as ours. And uh, personally, I believe this, this process of education, which you've, which you've started, of course, in school, but I think uh, become... Um, I think uh, our institute is a little different in the way we approach uh, the curriculum or try to do that. I think that process of education that we've started with you, um, I hope you'll continue that um, as you go on in your life and what you do. So AIH, or APJ Institute for Hospitality, was started in April 2007. And I think uh, the genesis of it was really from our management training programs, which we've been running quite successfully at the Park Hotels for about 15 years, where we went beyond the curriculum and actually, um, you know, ensured that um, our people um, were exposed to a variety of things, not just, you know, um, I think the typical hospitality curriculum of learning all the French words and, uh, you know, doing all those things, which may be not so relevant in, in uh, hospitality of uh, the 90s. So our goal really was to um, expose uh, young minds to lots of different types of things and things that you will come across. I mean, it's actually how would you run a business or how would you make a presentation, how do you deal with technology, how do you deal with, um, how do you get those life skills that you, uh, that you need. And from, from our point of view, we wanted to build that curiosity and that thirst and that hunger for, for doing different things, for gaining knowledge, knowledge and that's something that, that is the education and that is something that I hope you'll carry uh, from your 20s into your 60s and 70s. And, uh